Right. It's time for a little bit of a war recap. As I said in um, my last war recap, I want to try and do these every week and sort of Monday, Tuesday nights is uh, when I get my chance to do this sort of thing. So it looks like, uh, for the moment anyway, I'm going to try and do at least one a week and maybe if I get some extra time I'll uh, throw in some sing yeah, just quick little uploads about with um, some good attacks in there, shall we say. So anyway, this war bubber are us. We were just short on this one. Just missed the mark, unfortunately. Um, but I think overall it was a pretty good war. From what I remember, it was it was last week's time now. Um, right, so let's just jump straight into this and have a look, shall we? Uh, okay, so... Who was this? It was Victor going in on that one on a three-star attack. Um, missed a few Town Hall 9s. But also cleaned up quite nicely. I mean, how did we do in the end there? We had 14 three stars to 17. Um, so we, we came up short there. But let's have a look, shall we? Uh, look for a decent attack here. That was a clean up from my rush to Town Hall 10. MGT had the spotlight last time, so um, we aren't going to show that one. Let's have a look at Jet. Let's give Jet some of the run mode. Jump in here on this attack. Okay, so he's gone in here with a very nice. I don't know what's in a CC there, so I think it's probably a Max Pecker. So he's going in here with a stone. Go Varlo of sorts. Okay, so luring out. Clan Castle coming out there, got a level 5 dragon in there, he's going to poison them up. Poison spell goes down. A few archers, brings the loons into that poison area. And that poison just slows the dragon up quite nicely. Got seven wizards left, he's got two working away there. And it's enough. Just dealt with that one beautifully. He gets two golems going in there from the south side. One in the bag still. That one golem goes straight up the middle into where he dropped the quake. So he opened up that section quite nicely there. Here come the Valkyries. He had Valks, yeah, Max Valks in the, in the CC. Wizards are cleaning up the trash now quite nicely from behind. So he's got some good tanking going in there. Gets those. Beautiful job done on getting those Valks right up in the core there, drops the heal spell and under heal, I mean there's no chance of them getting taken out. That's where he brings his third column in up at the top there, just to do a bit of tanking for the loons coming in. Core's been taken out, you got one more air defense there, look at those Valkyries, those are still going. They're still working in the middle there, they absolutely clean out those, that core completely. You got his king working around the outside there. That last air defense went down, and now the loons are just working their way around the outside, just picking up all those defenses. The king can now work around, uh, work there in safety. Oh, there goes a big bomb, but doesn't eat enough of the Valks. The king just continues to work his way around the top side now, and unfortunately, it was a bit unlucky there that that mine actually managed to take out those loons. So let's just speed through this one a bit faster here. Cleanup crew comes up through the middle, and by that stage, anyway, the golem's taken out that archer tower. Cleanup crew is on the way, and that Tesla just manages to take out that golem there. But the wizards get it, and it's a nice three star attack. That was very nicely done. Great effort from. From Jet there. I've got some music in the background this time around. So <laughs> hopefully it's something decent. Right, um, let's have a look at some of the lower ones because actually I think Brains had a very nice. He just went in with a traditional sort of go wipe, I believe it was. Yeah, I think he's got probably a Max Pecker in the CC. So shattered go wipe if there is such a thing. Two golem, so I guess it is. Anyway, it was nice, nicely done, if I remember correctly. So, 
sends a golem straight in from that northeast side there, drops the poison spell down. Wizards are coming in fast and furious, drops that rage onto there, and that should clean up that dragon pretty quickly. Here comes one, two peckers. Wasn't even a max pecker in the CC, it was just a regular level three. So let's fly through this. Got a bunch of wizards working there on the east side, but they haven't got any tanking, so that uh, that wizard tower deals with them pretty quickly. But the the bulk of his attack force is coming around from that west side now. And the issue was the base design really. Just a big open core and these compartments running around the outside. So it wasn't a great design. But an example of an old school go wipe actually doing the business. So speed this one up, 4x, here comes the last pecker. He had a sneaky, where did he come from? I think that pecker just went for a walk down the bottom. Let me just go through this a bit quicker now. And it turns out to be a nice three star in the end. Builders hut in the corner, lucky for that. That could have been a disaster. So nice job done by Brenz. Juno, Nico, got some of the Town Hall 10s, 7s rather down the bottom. And let's just pop up here and see what was Victor's. Victor's was a uh, 3, I think he went possibly 4 golems in there. No, he may have another picker. So we go wipe on that one. It was a good attack, but he 3 stars that. And what did I... This was my rushed account, I believe. Yes, two level 10 heroes there. And went in here with... Um, it was a Goho. Stoned Goho with a quad quake to open up the core there. Took a Pekka along as well. Ten wizards. Low level. Town Hall 9, really. Still you know, rocking a lot of the sort of town hall 8 defense levels. Unfortunately, I left my wizards a little bit exposed on that east side. Here goes my Pekka, and instead of my king sorting out the queen, Pekka goes in there. Pekka's love a bit of a fight with a hero. I don't mind getting in there. And just a, a sweeping motion with the hogs. Sweep them in across that sort of northeast side. Rage up the king, and the peck is still going strong in the core there. Got some tanking, drop the first heal spell down. Got some more hogs coming in from that top side. Not by any means a fantastic attack, I don't think. It was alright. They always tend to be a bit rushed at the end. It's difficult um, trying to get the planning in because. There's always all that, that bomb nearly turned and well, I've got plenty of bacon out of that. But as I say, yeah, I mean, these, these clan wars, they always tend to be really rushed at the end. And you kind of have to, you don't get a chance to really plan too much like you do on the first attack as to who you're going, you're going to go for. So you kind of have an idea, but then everybody's waiting to the last minute and it's an absolute mission to try and get everybody in. It would be really nice if everybody could just get their attacks done early and just leave it till the end for the top guys to clean up. That really would be the ideal scenario. Springtrap deals with a few more hogs there and we just speed this up. It's just a simple cleanup process there. Four on number 11. I mean, three stars are going to happen, you would think. But there we are. Some good attacks in there. But just a little bit short at the end. I was unlucky. Stay Frosty 3-star, three, three Victor 3-star, Juno 3-star, MGT 3-star, three 3-stars three from me. I got a 2-star on the end, number 3. It was nice. It was it, it was fairly decent, but I fell short on number 1 over there. Victor fell short there. Yeah, we could have done with more 2-stars on those Town Hall 10s. 
and they managed to do get the win actually without even touching one of our time or tens. They just did a fantastic job on cleaning us up. At one, two, three. They only missed three bases of our town or nines. That was it. So let's leave it there. And um, we shall have a look. In fact, let's have a look quickly at. There's a war going on at the moment. These guys have dived in quickly. You have to look at this clan. I think level seven, they've done 52 wins already. That's going to be tough. That is going to be tough. What's happened since we've been here? Nice two star from OBR so far. Good three star from Nico. It was a good effort from Giggle Monster. Grace three star, but it's late at night, so bulk of the attacks are going to happen in the morning. But uh, we'll report back on this one and see what happens. Cheers, guys.